life skills, weekly chores, mopping. Weekly chores. Weekly chores are chores that need to be done every week. We do these chores once a week and usually on the weekend because these chores take more time to finish and are more work. Mopping, vacuuming, and dusting are examples of chores that need to be done weekly. We usually wait until the weekend to do these chores because they take time to do. Point to the picture of the lady mopping the floors. Point to the picture of the man vacuuming the carpet. Point to the picture of the man dusting. Mopping floors. Dirt from the bottom of our shoes, dust in our house, and food or drinks that fall and stick to the floor creates germs. By the end of the week, floors in our homes become dirty and need to be mopped with soap and water. The best way to clean our floors is to mop them every week. This helps get rid of dirt and germs and keeps our homes clean. To clean our floors, we need to use a floor cleaner, water, a mop, and bucket. Point to the picture of the floor cleaner. Point to the picture of the water. Point to the picture of the mop. Point to the picture of the bucket. A floor cleaner is needed to mop the floor. Click the matching picture of the floor cleaner. A floor cleaner is needed to mop the floors. Click the word that matches the picture. Floor cleaner. Water is needed to mop the floor. Click the matching picture of water. Water is needed to mop the floors. Click the word that matches the picture. Water. A mop is needed to mop the floor. Click the matching picture of the mop. A mop is needed to mop the floors. Click the word that matches the picture. Mop. A bucket is needed to mop the floor. Click the matching picture of a bucket. A bucket is needed to mop the floors. Click the word that matches the picture. Bucket. The best way to clean our floors is to mop them every week. This helps get rid of dirt and germs and keeps our homes clean. Click the picture of the floors being mopped. That's right. They're being mopped. Click the pictures of the floors that need to be mopped. It looks like a dog footprints all over this floor. Yes, looks like someone spilled some sort of spaghetti sauce on the floor. Over here, someone spilled coffee on the floor. And this floor here just looks dirty. The other two pictures are clean pictures. Mopping floors is an example of a weekly chore. Click the matching picture of the lady mopping the floors. Mopping floors is an example of a weekly chore. Click the sentence that describes the picture. Mopping floors. Step 1. 
How to mop the floor. Use warm water to fill the bucket halfway. The mop head needs to be completely under the water. Step two, add half cup of floor cleaner to the warm water in the bucket. You can use vinegar instead of floor cleaner. Step three, place your mop in the bucket and let it soak up the water and floor cleaner mixture. Step four, lift the mop out of the bucket and put in the wringer to remove some of the water. Step five, mop floors in small sections. Move the mop back and forth or side to side. Step six, place your mop back in the bucket and let it soak up more water and fork floor cleaner. Step seven, lift the mop out of the bucket and put it in the wringer to remove some of the water. Step eight, mop a different part of the floor in small sections. Move the mop back and forth or side to side. Step nine, clean up. Pour dirty water down the sink and rinse the bucket out with clean water. Step 10, rinse the bucket out with clean water. Homework activity. Watch the video of Mrs. Z's mopping the floor. Where does your family keep the mop and bucket? What kind of floor cleaner does your family use? What day of the week does your family mop the floors? And try to mop the floors or help set up the mop and bucket at your house. <coughs> so those are our mopping tasks for this week. I want you to try to do some mopping at home if you can. It's a weekly chore. Let's see if you can do it.